so I just want to keep it pretty simple today. I'm airing my grievances out on here because there's some shit I gotta say. So to start off, I'm walking because I get like more focus when I'm like alone and I just don't want to be in the house right now. See, I usually do this shit, you know, at home. Because, you know, that's like somewhat of my own, you know, comfort zone or whatever. But, I don't know. Usually, I don't try to be this explicit. So, I'm going to just get right into it and say what I got to say. So, first of all, fuck religion. I think religion is stupid. I think it's silly. I think it's a way for people to try to come after guys like me who think they different, so I just say fuck that, I mean, I'm an atheist, alright, so, it's just, I'm rocking like that all day, every day, I think it's silly to judge people because they don't believe in God, and they don't believe in all that other bullshit, and stuff like that, I think it's stupid, like, I really don't care, fuck religion, I'm an atheist, I do what I want, when I want, I don't have to play by any fucking rules and all that bullshit. Like, oh my god, he's not a Christian, Jesus Christ, blah, blah, blah. Like, I really don't care. I just do what I gotta do because I'm just the shit. Like, being me, I don't believe in a heaven, which means I don't believe in a hell either. So, that's just that's just how I'm rocking, you know? Dainhala is no through religious cunts and what that means is only dumb religious people believe in hell or heaven so that's that's my take on it pretty much i just i had to be me you know i can't worry about everybody else and what they believe in so they come at me and call me a satanist and all these other things that they really don't know the fucking meaning to because they don't know what being an atheist means. Satanism and devil worshiping are two fucking different things. And maybe people should actually study that. You look at inverted crosses and you go, oh, that's satanic and all that other shit, but it's not. When you flip the cross upside down for any of you cocksuckers out there who actually study, the upside down cross is not a symbol of Satanism, it's not a symbol of devil worshiping, it's simply a Catholic symbol, which means that symbol re- represents St. Peter. But people don't do that type of studying, they assume things. So, I just laugh at them. When Jehovah Witness come towards me and all these other fags, I just blast my metal real loud and they turn their asses right back around and scares the shit out of them. Because that's what I do. I just gotta be me. Second of all, a lot of these nasty, dirty, STD written whores on here cry about how they can't find a man why they men treat them like shit and why it's so hard for them to find a loyal guy. Bitches, it's y'all fault. If y'all hoes would stop thinking with y'all goddamn legs and mouth and always thinking about dick all the time, maybe y'all will find somebody. I mean, there's plenty of girls in my school. Trashy as shit. Don't have any morals. Pregnant. Already had babies probably. And they expect somebody to, you know, they expect somebody to hit it, then put a ring on it. Like, these bitches had a moral so fucking turned around. Like, I mean, to tell the truth, half of the girls in my school are probably faker than Nicki Minaj and Kim K put together. Like, it it just can't get any worse. Like, I, I just don't understand it. So they think because they know how to suck a little dick, suck a mean dick actually, because that's all these girls really good for anyway. They think somebody is going to wife it, 
and you know be loyal to it but that's that's not how it works men don't work like that if we see trash we throw it away and that's simple if we see girls like that we kick their ass to the curb and we move on to the next that's what i do if i'm in these situations i don't put a ring or i don't stay loyal to a bitch who out here on her knees on to the next one i don't fuck with that this is why i don't have these problems i don't have to worry about oh what my girl doing Oh, she kissing my mans behind my back. Oh, you sucked his dick, now you kissing me. Like, no, I don't fuck with that. Y'all need to realize some shit right now. Y'all out here telling motherfuckers y'all love them, but y'all been with them for a week, and y'all think they really love you. It goes both ways. This how guys operate with fuckboys, because... To be honest, I wasn't always loyal. I wasn't always a good guy. This is how I would operate. If I see a chick and she weak, she pathetic, she trash, I can step on her, I can run her over, she ain't shit, I'm gonna take advantage of that. People take advantage of these goddamn situations where you can be in control. Girls like that only had to offer is pussy and emotions and all that other bullshit. And guys look at that as fucking opportunity to do what they want, get what they want. And I don't blame them for it, you know. That's how that's how it works pretty much in this world. Girls do the same thing. They look at guys, maybe nice guys, and they say, Well, he can't handle a guy like girl like me. He can't he don't know what to do with me. And they say that because they deal with these you know, fucking timid ass guys who don't even know how to handle a real woman. So they look at them as, oh, well, I can take advantage of them. Or, you know, I'll make him like cry in a minute. Ain't no girl finna make me cry. I wish a bitch would. I try not to be too harsh, but I learned one thing. There's two types of hoes in this world. There's dumb girls, and there's really dumb girls. Cause at the end of the day, women gonna think they right regardless. It don't matter what you say, it don't matter if you're right. It don't matter if you tell that bitch 4 plus 4 is 8. She's still gonna try to argue with you, alright? She still is gonna try to find a way to say you ain't right, I'm right. And you can't argue with women on that. That's just what they do. But you know it's only good when they know they wrong. Cause at the end of the day... When women know they wrong, they come back to you, they try to, you know, sweet talk you, get in bed with you, do all the, you know, other bullshit, and then it's like, okay, now y'all fucking, now y'all cool again, everything all good, then the next day, it's like y'all arguing like cats and dogs. It kind of reminds me of, um, my stepmom. So, her fat ass, she been there since... I don't know, last year, I can't stand her. She irritating, she loud as fuck, she never shut up, she just annoying. And for some reason, she always got her name, my name, and her mom. Let me tell y'all something. I'm so sick of this fat, out of shape, dumb, unhealthy, about to have a heart attack bitch staying in there. I'm sick of her. I'm so fucking done. You know what? I've never, I've hated people before. It takes a lot for me to hate somebody. But I've never been so fucking mad to the point where it's just like, I just want to piss in her shoes. Like, she make me so fucking mad. Like, like why is she here? The only reason my dad stayed with her that long is because, one, she got money. She's a RN. Nurses get that green shit. So, first of all, she got money. That's the only that's one of the only reasons he wanna stay with her anyway. Second of all, she got ass. Men love women. They can fuck for free anytime, any day. And she provided that. So of course he not gonna be like, oh well, I don't wanna be with her. She got everything going for herself. So of course she gonna stay with her and she gonna stick around like a dumbass. Cause to be honest, my dad is never gonna marry her fat ass. He don't. My dad is, I don't wanna say he's an asshole. I mean, 
who's not. I may be at times to some people, but I know him for, like, he's my dad. I know him all my life. He's not going to marry her. He's never going to put a ring on it. He's never going to have any kids with her. And as long as she stay in the picture, she's just going to be old and fucking decrepit and lonely all her life because my dad is never going to commit to her. So, I feel like... That's, that's just something I had to say because I don't really go off that much, but I really don't like her. I don't like her. I don't like her stinking ass dogs. And if that dog bite me one more time, I'm throwing that and her out the fucking door because I'm sick of it. Like, how many times do I got to tell you, put your dog in the cage? Give your dog, the, the dog fucking stinks. I don't like it. I don't like dogs to begin with, to be honest. So if y'all got a problem with that, fuck you and fuck you. Fuck whoever else don't like that. Look, I don't like dogs. I'm a cat person. I have never liked dogs. I tolerate dogs. I don't like them. But if her dog bites me one more time, because it's bit me in the face, on my hand, on my leg, bit me plenty of times. I ain't say nothing. But one of these days, she gonna come back to the house. And her goddamn dog gonna be missing. And then I'm just be looking there. You know, all sinister and shit. And I'm just be like, I don't know what happened to your dog. You know, maybe it ran out or something. But that's just the, the simple shit. So, that's pretty much how it is at home. I gotta deal with, you know, cunts like her every day so i pulled a little prank on her it's funny so she gotta be i don't know maybe two three hundred pounds i don't know probably about to have a heart attack who knows but um she stinks up the bathroom every fucking day i've never met somebody who takes the shit more than she does so usually it gotta be like around 8 or 9 before I even get up. She in the bathroom. And what is she doing? She taking a shit. Because that's all she likes to do. So, I decided to pull a little prank on her. Because, you know, that's what I do. So, I got this little thing for the bathroom. And usually it's for like when you gotta, you know, take a um shit or whatever. So... I got it for the bathroom, but I wrote her name on it because, you know, nobody does that more than she does. I barely do that. She does that all the fucking time. So I wrote her name on this little bottle or whatever because, you know, she already insecure as fuck. So I just thought, you know, let's fuck with her. So I put this bottle in there and I was like, uh, Fatima, wrote her name on it. The next day, her and my dad get into an argument. They going back and forth. They snapping on each other. Oh, fuck you. Uh, I hate you. You can't use my car no more. Get out. But, you know, the usual. So, it took everybody about, like, I don't know, three or four hours to figure out how they got in the bathroom. So, I'm just, you know, minding my business. My dad come in the room. He was like, we need to have a talk. I'm just like, what you mean we gotta have a talk? So, she, uh, all in the back, all, you know, with her head down, all sad and shit. And he was like, why you put that bullshit in the bathroom? But I was like, because she needed, like, I, people don't understand. I'm at the point where I don't care anymore, like, I fought my dad before, plenty of times. Went off on my dad. It is nobody I will not go off on. It's nobody I will not fight. I don't care. That's what people got to understand. Y'all underestimating me because I'm like, what, 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five, and I'm skinny as hell and all that. But y'all don't understand. I will take anybody on. I don't care who it is. Anytime my dad want to throw down, I don't need the gloves. I'll whip his ass without the gloves. And he know that because his time is ticking. He know I'm stronger than him. Every day I get stronger, he get weaker, and then I can make him my bitch. He knows that. That's why he tries so hard not to 
set me up. Because if he does, then I'm going to put the pause on him like little Scrappy. So, back to what I was saying, though. So, they figured out I put this shit in the uh, freaking bathroom. And basically, what happened is, he wanted me to apologize to her. So, I did. But it was funny. So, I guess a couple weeks later, some Mormons... Not the Jehovah Witness. These was Mormons. So, they like way different. If y'all don't know what Mormons are, but whatever, look it up. So, fucking Mormons approach me. And they come up to me like, uh, do you have time to talk about Jesus Christ and blah, blah, blah. And I just look at them like, can you like get the fuck away from me? Like, can you do that? I'm trying to go to school. So... I gave them her number. They called her, harassed her, whatever the fuck they did. I get back home. So, she didn't say nothing, right? She in there all quiet. So, she pacing around, you know, la, 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 all that shit. My dad come home. Once again, it's like, and oh, another thing that sets her off. I used to walk around the house just in my boxers and like in a tank top. I can't do that because she lives there now. So whenever I do that, it's too inappropriate for her or she don't want me to do that because she's a female. So I used to do that shit all the time. So I'm laying down. He come in the room. He like put some pants on like you got to, uh, we need you out here. So I get out there and basically he's saying like, why you had these Mormons call her phone? And you always doing some bullshit. And I... Like, you know, it's like every day. So I'm just sitting there. And, you know, I could have said two things. I could have just got up. I could have just, you know, put whatever I was holding down. And said, you know what? I'm tired of this. Could have just whooped his ass. Uh, let's see. Another thing I could have said. I could have said, uh, fuck you and fuck her. I could have said, well, I'm sorry you feel that way, but I don't like your girlfriend. Like, I think she big and she out of shape. She need to hit a gym and she need to leave. Because, to be honest, she she could, like, stand to lose a lot of weight. And I don't have nothing against fat people, but she needs to lose some fucking weight. I'm sorry. Because it's really pissing me off. You always got to walk through the hallway and when I'm walking past her, I got to squeeze all the way through. Like, she can stand to lose some fucking pounds. Like, I'm tired of it. She needs to lose weight. Like, it's a fucking gym. Like, ten minutes away from me. She can go to that. Work out. Ah, shit. Oh. Damn it. Drop my fucking phone. Alright. Like, uh, damn it. I don't want to text her right now. Okay. So, like I was saying... But it won't happen. Now, what I really wanted to talk about before I speak to y'all and some more German douche words. Dush words. I go to this school and whatever. So everybody's prom has happened already, right? Everybody already went to their prom. Everybody like, cool, we going to prom. We about to have some fun. You know, everybody doing their thing. So, our prom is June 2nd. The last, all, basically when everybody is about to get out of school, that's when our prom is, right? So, I'm not going for a lot of reasons. One, I don't like any of them people in the school. I think the ghetto, they, uh... They stink. That's one thing. I'm I'm just a clean guy. I can't be around filth, trash, and all that other stuff. I can't be around it. So they having a problem on the princess post. So basically, guys gonna try to get some ass and blah blah. blah. You know everything that pretty much happens on prom. So. I still got like what a week or two or something like that left. Should I go to it? 
should I just say fuck it, stay home? I don't know. I really never cared about prom that much to even want to go to it. But I don't know. Like when you think about it, majority of the girls in my school are trash. They know they trash, and all they have is just ass. They don't really have nothing of a uh, value, really. So I don't think I would go to that. Not my thing. So um, I don't know. Like I, I just don't think I would do it. It's not really for me. So now if we get into the end, pretty much. So. What I really did want to talk about is how my whole year, like, fuck, happened. So, one, it started off crazy. Started off with a lot of chaos, a lot of drama, a lot of confusion. And I guess that's my life pretty much because this is me we talking about. My life has never been normal. Never. And I don't think it would be a... It would be weird if it wasn't, you know, chaos and all types of shit in my life. Now, I got some notifications here. I uh, think I'm going to read those after. Yeah, I think I'm going to read those afterwards because I don't know. Oh, what's this right here? Hold up. I don't know what this is. I want to try this out. Uh, Shit, I don't know. Trying to see what this guy, this thing is right here. Uh, it's still loading. It's still loading. I don't know what it is though, but I'm trying it out. I guess. So, anyways, it started off crazy. Started off with a really obsessive girl, and oh, that's what that is. That's oh, that's like the uh, uh some type of filter. Oh, okay. That's cool, but it started off to be really obsessive, really crazy, to the point, oh no, I'm taking this off, this, no, this is gay, 